Greetings, my familiars. How are you guys doing today? Um, holy crap, it has been <laughs> two months since I uploaded anything, and I'm sorry, I've just... I hate to say it, but I got a life. Like, life has sucked me in and kicked me in the butt. Um, I'm, I'm working. Um, I, w I was doing two jobs. I'm at one now. Uh, school starting next month again, so I'm going to be in college when I'm not at work. Ooh, I got to level up. Give us some of that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be in college when I'm not in, or, you know, when I'm not at work. Uh, so my schedule is just like, it's going to be swamped. And right now, when I'm not at work, I'm on World of Warcraft trying to catch up on gear because Tumas Argaris came out. First week AOTC achievement, though. Hells yeah. Uh, anyways, we're going to explore the Ragnarok map today. Now, um, I am in a bit of a pickle of a spot. So I built right next to the Wyvern Ravine. I didn't realize they would come this close to the watering hole that I built by. Let me see if I can show you. This little doodle right over there. Um, and they actually do f come over the base occasionally. Uh, but, you know, I was told that uh, in this game, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind for wild dinos. Uh, so I just parked them under here to keep the wyverns from being interested. They shouldn't want to attack my structures. Uh, they haven't so far. Things have been working out great, so we should be good. Um, I want to show you the griffin real quick. And now I'm sure, you know, a lot of you have already seen this. You know, Slipgator's done it and his friends and everything like that. Um, you know, a lot of the bigger ones have not, have already done this, so, but I want to show you this griffin. Is he not amazing looking? He's white, gray, and red, and that just looks freaking cool. Um, but anyways, these griffins are amazing. Like, look at this wing anatomy. Now, it's a little bald closer to the body, but the rest of the wing just looks fantastic. Like, now that is what I call wing anatomy. Um, I feel like they did the best job out of any other game I've played with wings, and for me... Getting things accurate adds to the character of the game. So, anyways, check this out. Woohoo! These guys got this awesome little dive bomb uh, animation and they just glide. So, I also wanted to point something out with the griffin. Uh, the griffin, every time you go out of render distance or you reload your file in single player, they go back to that same just god awful tawny brown. So, I have to keep, like, uh, admin changing his color. And it's kind of irking me because I did find him at this color. I swear to God, he was originally this color. It was amazing. It's why I tamed him. He looked so pretty. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, without the admin commands, I just can't keep him the proper color. So it's a little disappointing. I'd rather not have to do that. Um, also, if you're wondering why I built next to the Wyvern Ravine, it's because I wanted easy eggs. But also, this whole flat tundra area just looks badass. So anyways, uh... I really hate that generator noise. I wish I could just get rid of that, you know? Anyways, why is my canteen... I'm not drinking out of it, but it's still losing water, I think. Maybe I did drink out of it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm having a moment. Anyways, I should probably grab a drink while I'm over there. Did I get it? Yeah, it didn't make the drink sound. This doesn't really work. I wish that this right here... These just keep losing their irrigation way too fast for my greenhouse, so I'm having a hard time getting some of the vegetables. Um, the lemons, I, I don't know why I can't remember what they're called, citronel, those ones, like, those grow like crazy without the water, but the other ones I can't seem to get, so I wish that there was a command just to make it rain a little more often, um, because I don't think I can irrigate it with the well, I'm pretty sure you can, I think I've tried that before, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's changed, um, but anyways, I want to go explore this map. Now, I'm not going to do a whole series on Ragnarok. Um, there's, it's a, you know, it's kind of like a beta map. It's very incomplete. Uh, I actually exposed the barrier so you can get past it through a, um, a change in the INI files. It's really cool. Um, I do like exploring out there. It's a desert biome uh, this, thus far. I don't know if they'll change it. Um, but yeah, it's incomplete. I don't think there's enough to do a series on. Uh, but I will go ahead and just show you some of this cool stuff today. Now, let's see if we can safely get past these guys. Now, you might say, why aren't you taking out the griffin today? Well, in all honesty, I just like the atmosphere of running across all this land on a freaking horse. I mean, that is so cool. So, anyways, I'm just trying to explore the map, show it to you guys. I also found something interesting. I found a pond over here. And, um, in the pond, 
If you go up and drink from it, it says relaxing at the pond. It is the weirdest thing ever. See all these old dino bones? We need to gamma up a bit. There we go. Trying to get away from these dudes. Also, the uh, beaver dams are awesome in this. I'll have to show you if I can find some. I don't know what's behind me, but that was a horrible noise. The, scor the scorpions sound stupid as hell now. I hate the scorpions' new sound. It's so awful. Yeah, I built in kind of a dangerous spot. It should be up this way, if I remember correctly. I haven't had time to level this guy up. I don't even know if we can make it through this particular thing I'm trying to do. I'm just going to surprise you guys. It's at the castle that Slipgator explored uh, in one of his videos. Yes, I do watch him. He's amazing. Uh, shout out to him. But, um... Oh god, Raptor. Uh, but he didn't go to the basement and explore it. And I'm going to go show you guys what's in there. Now, some of you I'm sure have already seen it. But I was surprised when I found it because I hadn't seen it. Oh my god, those raptors are going to follow me for days. And there's a T-Rex. I think it's actually this pond. Is this the one? I can't remember if it's this one or not. I think it is. You really want some of this raptor? You want some of this homeboy? Come here! Come here! Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright. Yeah, put you in your place. You don't want any of this. I'm gonna kick your butt. Oh, yeah. Leveled up. Alright, let's go a little bit more health. Okay. So let me see if this one does it. It does! It does! Okay, so this is a different one, but it still does it. Look at this debuff right here. Or buff. Whatever you want to call it. Relaxing at the pond. Ah. Now, I have no idea what that is. Um, I've never seen that before in the game. So that's kind of new to me. Uh, but I've been gone a long time. Like I said, I was gone like two months. And I didn't play Ark at all in that time. So I just uh, got back on, I think like, I don't know, three days ago? So there's a lot of catching up to do. So here it is. This is the castle, and it's awesome looking. So let me see if there's a way for me to get up there on my horse. There's bats. Let's kill these guys. Okay, good. My horse is dying. Let's go ahead. I guess I can't heal him with that. Do I have my veggie cakes? I don't. Damn it. Okay, uh, shoot. Well, I'm going to go scout out uh, real quick before I head down to the basement, and I'm just going to make sure that there's no other baddies that are just going to come in and wreck my horse while I'm down there. Um, so I will be right back in just a moment, okay? Alright, so the area looks clean. Um, let's just set you, uh, or take you off follow. And look at this castle. This thing is so cool. Would this not be the coolest place to build a base? I didn't even know about this at first. Um, I had already built my base by the time I found out about this. Um, and let me see. Let's go up higher. And I thought that, like, I don't know if you can build in here. I don't know if you can place structures. I haven't checked. But would this just be an awesome place to just set everything up? It'd be so easy to bunker down, too, and just, like, defend it. Let's see. I hate these stairs. <laughs> They're such a pain in the butt. I mean, they look cool. They're just like... I don't know. Have you guys ever gone up a spiral staircase in real life? Because it, it really is like one of the most obnoxious things. And the stairs on them are always so freaking steep. Let's see if there's anything up here. I want to see if there's like any of those loot boxes. You know, the ones that you can break open. Um, they have a bunch of great stuff for early game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head down and I'll show you the basement. So, it, I mean, it's like, it's way down there. Where's the other way down? Is it here? Here it is. 
Do, 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 do. Okay. Now, you be good, Denny. And don't die on me, because if I see a death message, I'm going to cry, because I'm going to have to run all the way back to base. That's probably going to end up horrible. I guess since I'm all I'm using all the uh, primitive, it doesn't really matter. I can just, you know. Anyways. Uh, and this just keeps going. It just keeps going and going and going. Like, this is a huge, huge building, and this would make a phenomenal base. I'll have to see in the future if you can build on it. I just don't have any supplies for building, and I don't feel like gathering any right now. And I honestly, I have to use the miner's helmet, I guess, to see in the water. I had to look this up, because I had no idea how to see in the dark, because this cave is dark. So this, right here. So let's go ahead and let's get our stuff on. You know what, I'm going to grab a drinkaroo. Well, I guess I didn't need to. If I jump in, I'll be good. Let's go ahead. You know, let's just do that. Let's drink one of those because I haven't gone into oxygen at all. I left my miner's helmet on my horse, so give me just one second. I gotta go grab it. Let's go in. Woohoo! I don't know if I can make make it through this. I think I can though. Here it is. Let me go ahead. Grappling hooks are the best way to do this. I've seen people do this. There we go. Just gets you through a little bit quicker. I should be fine though with the Lazarus Chowder. I think I'll be good. You guys hear that ticking noise? There we go, made it through just fine. And it just like, this is what I wanted to show, it just leads to this like gargantuan expansive cavern. This is so crazy. I'm kinda stuck, there we go. Look at this freaking thing! And I guess there's like three or four different exits, you just have to find them and it's like such a massive cave that it's hard. And I don't know if this is incomplete or not. I don't know what else they plan to do with this. Let me go ahead and just kind of wiggle my way down here. Now I'm pretty sure, are these just normal crystals? Can you hear that echoey sound? That's so freaking weird. And look at how big it is. What the hell? <laughs> this is so extensive. And I don't know if there's bad stuff in the water. I really don't. Is this just like not the eeriest thing ever? It's so creepy. Just this giant empty cave with no light sources. See, how's the helmet doing? Oh, it's good. I think that is one of the entrances because someone was mentioning a waterway entrance. Let's go see. Oh, there's pearls down here. Now, I don't know if anything bad spawns in here. That's the thing. Oh, it seems kind of buggy. Oh, it's definitely buggy. It doesn't look like that way goes anywhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is one of the exits. Um... Oops. I want to grab as many pearls here as I can because I am so low on pearls and I had no idea where I could find them. This is perfect. try and get through this quicker. Oh, does it go two different ways? Did I just get myself in a really bad situation? Alright, guys. Here we are. The light at the end of the tunnel. That was the longest swim I've ever done. It would have been so short on a Nikki or something, but... This is where it shows. I don't know why it's not showing the dots anymore. Now it's just showing the uh, lettering. 
which is weird. But you can see how far away that is from the castle. That is an insane, insane distance to swim. Holy crapola. Um, but yeah, I mean, my goodness. So this is one of the exits. Let me get in here and show you. Here it is. It's just hidden in between these rocks here. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to head back in and see where that other direction goes to the right. I want to see where that comes out of because I think there's two waterway exits. Um, so I'll be back in a moment again. So, burbs. Alright guys, this is, a, this is just so massive. Um, so, you know how when I first went into the water cave... Um, there was two ways. There was a left and a straight, and I took the straight originally and showed you where that exit was. Well, I went back and took the, well, technically coming back, it would have been to my right, but I took that original left way instead, and it took me to two different turns. It took me up and then just straight. So I went up, and apparently if you go up, it actually leads you back into the cave. Now, I can't tell if this is where we originally started or not. I'm not familiar enough with this cave to see if it just basically did a big loop back to the same spot. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I think this is a different part of the cave. Um, but it's crazy. I mean, this thing is so expansive. And I want to know if they're going to do anything else with it, you know? What, what else are they going to do with this cave? Um, how are they going to change it? Uh... So, what I'm going to do is, I'm running low on chowder. I got no more grapple hooks. I'm going to see if I can make it back alive. I think I can. Um, but I'm going to try and take that straight turn instead of going back and see if that leads to an exit anywhere. Hopefully, I'll be able to survive it. Um, if worse comes to worse, I will just infinite stat it. I'm sorry. But I'm just exploring and having fun. And, I mean, this is actually really hard solo. And I didn't realize... Like, that there was entrances you could bring dinos into, so, um, you know. But, um, we'll see, we'll see if we can make it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go see where that is, and then we'll actually come in and walk around this cave, but I don't know how I'm gonna figure out how to get out of this cave, because, I mean, there's nothing that makes anything distinguishable in here. It's, it's just so big and, and bland. <laughs> so anyways, okay, I will be right back. So real quick guys, I wanted to show you what it looks like. So that is the exit from if you turn left. So when you go into this cave from the castle and you turn right and go in the water, if you follow that pathway and then take the left instead of the straight turn when you come across it, you'll come out of there. That is where we just came from that leads back up into the cave and this is where we're going. So I just wanted to show you guys that so you kind of have an idea of what it looks like. And uh, I'll be back. Alright guys. Um... So, like I mentioned, if I absolutely needed to, um, I would infinite stat, and I, I did need to. Um, so, I apologize. Please don't hate me for it. It is my game, uh, my save file. I can do what I want. Um, I'd rather not do that, but I didn't have scuba gear, so I kind of came into this unprepared. Um, all I can say is, when you... That area I just showed you, if you take... Okay, so if you go in the cave and you take that way, and you go left go up. Do not go straight. Um, so I just took that path straight, right? And it leads to a dead end. There's nothing. It's it's a dead end. You'll die if you come down here. Um, so definitely do not come this way. Uh, it's just bad. Alright guys, here we are. We're finally out of the waterways. That's um, the main waterway right there. That's where we came in from the castle. Oh my god, I spent like 38-40 minutes just getting through that damn waterway. That was a awful experience. Um, or an awful experience, sorry. Grammar's hard. Um, anyways, um, oh, I have made the discovery that there are an insane amount of, I think they're called megalosauruses in here, those T-Rex things. I'm not going to deal with them. I am going to cheat, just cheat wipe them because there's way too many. Um, I found like a group of like eight of them and there's just, I mean, by myself, there's just no way. Um, so please be understanding that when you're playing this game solo, there's a lot of content that without a dino, it's almost impossible to do solo unless you've got like rocket launchers or something. But obviously all I have is a long neck rifle, so it's not going to happen. Um, so please bear with me. I, I just want to explore this, you know, relax. I want to show you guys. It's just cool. 
Um, so please understand, if I come across like 20 of them, I am going to dino wipe them. Um, so don't hate me too much for it. But, for the time being, it's just not, it's not possible or plausible for me to try and take them on. So, let's go ahead and let's go explore Rooney. Now, there's, you know, like I had mentioned earlier, there's like four different exits to this place that people have discovered so far. I have walked around here for a little bit. Um, not too much after coming out of that waterway. Just kind of took a look around, see where we were going. I want to go this way first. Um... It is, I mean, there's just so many different ways to go. This is such an expansive cave. I want to know what else they're going to do with it, how they're going to change it. Um, but, you know, I guess we'll we'll find out. So, all right. <clears throat> Sorry about that little uh, skip there, guys. Um, I had to AFK for a moment. All right, so let's go explore the cave. So I want to go this way first. Uh. Two ways to go. Does this go anywhere? Goes up to like a grotto thing. Oh, the leaves are moving. I thought there was another dinosaur. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. That looks cool. So it's daytime right now, I'm guessing? I don't think you can get in through that. If there's any indicator from the other map, um, island, the island. Uh, in the ice cave, it has those, and you can't get out of them. So, it's not even worth trying. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a negatory on being able to get in and out of that. Uh, also, I'm out of grappling hooks, so that's a thing. I didn't make nearly enough. I should have definitely made more. And see, there's just, like, a bunch of ways to go in here. Like, I don't know which way's the right way. Looks like we got some metal in here. <gasps> I almost bumped into that thing. You stay asleep, buddy. Oh, it's because it's daytime right now, duh. Why would that affect them in the cave, though? Where does this go? Ooh. Another grotto thing. Once again, I think an entrance we can't get out of. Um, I mean, that would be way too too tiny for us to fit through regardless. So that's kind of cool. I can't remember, but I think there is an artifact in here. I think it's the, the Skylord one? Maybe? Seems like kind of an odd place to get a Skylord, you know, artifact doodle. But, um... I don't know. Let's just be careful not to bump into any of those dinosaurs. We definitely don't want to wake them up. Now where does this go? Looks like we got some more crystal over here. So nothing special, just a corner with crystal. Uh, this is a great place to get crystal and um, silica pearls, man. I mean, it is like silica pearl galore. So, I mean, I just grabbed that swimming through the tunnel, so that is fantastic. Because I found some before, but I wasn't really finding it in good quantities. This See, this looks like an exit for sure. So we'll want to turn around and we'll want to go back and um, check some of the other places to go. Oh! Oh, oh god. Oh, the lag. Yep, yep, this is an exit for sure. That lag was like the world's biggest indicator. Now, where is this on the map? I don't remember seeing this cave ever. Oh, the freaking flashlight. There we go. So it's there. You know what? Um... Hi, RG. Actually, what level are you? 135. That's a good RG. So you can see, though, that that's where you come out of right here. So that's an entrance. So yeah, this just looks like a big mega cave system. So it just leads to a lot of different places on the map. Could you imagine on a... Well, I guess the official ones don't have cave building anymore. Um, but could you imagine just, like, owning this cave, being the tribe to have all this room? 
It'd be amazing. I mean, you would you would own the map, dude. You'd be able to get out so many points. All right. Well, let's go some of the other ways. Um, like I said, I mean, that's that's two exits we found so far out of the, the four mentioned ones. And you never know whether someone's being honest or not, you know, with what they've discovered. You know, some people like to say things, and uh, it's not necessarily true. <laughs> so I'm hoping that there actually is four, because that'd be kind of cool. I'm also really scared of getting lost in this cave, um, and not being able to find one of the exits. But I don't think that'll be an issue in all honesty, just because we've had so much luck finding it so far. At least I know where to go to tame Megalosaurus. So this is this is definitely a good uh, discovery. Because on the island, they're always dead. Like, every time I try to go find them on the island and I go into the caves where they're supposed to be, they're just dead when I walk in there. And I'm like, that's odd. Whoa, look at this. Let's try going this way. Okay, so here's a path we haven't taken, I don't think. Yeah, here's a new one. Crystal up there glowing, I think. Man, I'm go why am I going through water so fast? Do you guys see this? This insane amount of water consumption. <laughs> it's probably near the volcano then. Did I wander all the way to the volcano? I was not expecting this video to be this long. This is like... There's so, so many ways to go. It's just crazy. It's just unbelievable. Now I'm overheating again. Let me go ahead and put my flak on. And I left my flak on my damn horse. Looks like we've come across a new area over here. That's so cool. It just keeps going and going and going. Okay, this looks like it could be an exit. So um, if we come across an exit, I'll go ahead and show you where it is. Um, but then I'm going to turn around and head back in. Because I'm telling you, there's the Skylord artifact. It's got to be in here. Yep. Alright. Here's another one. Oh, it, oh my god, it's right by the castle. Okay, well, I don't need to show you on the map because it's literally, like, there. I can't believe how many entrances there are. Alright, let's turn around and go back and go a way we haven't gone yet. Pretty sure we came from the left there, so let's go check out in here. Does this just go in a big circle as well? <gasps> no, it leads to the artifact. Oh, it's artifact of the immune, not the Sky Lord. They were wrong. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh! It just unlocked the achievement, the um, archaeologist one for gathering all the artifacts. Oh my god, finally! Oh my goodness! That is insane! I've run the caves on the island, all of them, so many times! And that- this- this one, the immune just gave it to me, just now! I knew there was an artifact in here, but the guy was wrong. Yeah, it wasn't Skylord, it was the immune. Well... 
let's see if we can make it out of here alive. Um, and then we will get back to the castle. Grab my horse. Hopefully my horse is still alive. Alright guys. Okay, so we are out of the cave systems. Uh, that was a lot of exploring. This is going to be a long video. I've got 40 minutes before I got to go to work. Um, I mean, it took all my day to explore that and everything. Um, that was crazy cool. Now you guys know where the exits and entrances are. Um, I honestly recommend the swamp entrance just because, you know, that was the last one I showed you. Uh, just because it takes no effort to get to the artifact from there. It's literally right there. You just follow the tunnel in. Go right and you'll see like that green opening and just keep going right from there. So it's really, really easy to find. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I recommend that one. Plus you don't need anything. You don't need the Lazarus Chowder or anything like that. You just need one grappling hook to get out of the swamp and that's it. Um, as you can see, um, there's a glitch. So I went back into the castle. I'm in the basement again. And you can see my horse fell through the terrain. Can you see his name popping up? See Denny? Um, and this happened to my griffin when I first found this castle. That happened to my griffin as well. So, there's definitely a freaking glitch and it's definitely a pain in the butt. So, I gotta go see if I can get him out. I doubt I can. I'll probably have to ghost it to get him out. Um, I'm not sure where he fell exactly. Whew. That was weird. The lag saved me. Okay. Yeah, he's... He fell where I can't get him. Okay, well, I'll have to go and go get him. But anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, I'd like to thank you for joining me and watching this. And, you know, your support's always appreciated. I've noticed I'm still getting subscribers even though I hadn't posted in two months. You know, I just appreciate everything you guys do. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it'll um, show you a little bit about that cave and where you can and can't go. Um, like I said, I can't remember for sure. I'll have to go back and watch. But I can't remember if we found three or four exits. I know we found three for sure. Can't remember if we found a fourth one. Um, I couldn't find any more after that, so I showed you all the ones that I was able to find. So I think that's pretty much it, but um, hopefully that'll help you guys out. So anyways, thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.